you just completed the Tim's Chiller class, right? Yeah. And how do you like it? It was great. Good, good class? information. Yeah. Good instructor. What do you like most about it? The step by step, how to uh, identify problems with chillers, how to break it down. Get rocking and rolling on this stuff before lunch kicks in. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we. Uh, what I'll need you to do is have your calculators ready, so your smartphones, whatever, because we'll be doing some simple math. Now, also, take a look at the um, uh, formula sheet that I passed out. These formulas, we're going to be using this in conjunction with what uh, we have up here on the table, and I will pass this out. What you... Uh, what you see on the screen is what's on this sheet. You'll notice that I've got data already input. This is some uh, sample chiller logs. We've got 10 examples. And each of these examples highlights a problem with a chiller. So you'll actually look at a chiller log You'll know that there's a problem. Let's see if we can figure out what the problem is. Now, if you'll look at the bottom of the page, I'm asking you to calculate on the very first one, GPM. How do you calculate GPM? Formula sheet. Remember I talked about this sheet of formulas. This is real information that will help you on your chiller logs. This will help you interpret what the chiller log means. If all you do is fill out a chiller log and then stick it in a book or in a drawer never to uh, really analyze it, all you're doing is just an exercise. You're just writing down data. That data means something. All right. So the first one, calculate GPM of your condenser. Your first formula. Break out your calculators. Let's see if we can do this. Now you take the, uh, you look at your pressure drop across your condenser. You have to look at actual conditions. You have to look at design. Now that your design conditions are in that first column. Does everybody see what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right, so you've got an actual delta P and a design delta P. Divide the two, take the square root. And just a little hint, if the numbers are the same, you divide any number by itself, it's one. The square root of one is what? One. So you don't really need to hit that on calculator. So if there is no change in the delta P from design, what will your actual GPM be? It's going to be the same. On this uh, first example, is it the same? All right, I'm going to hand out another sheet, color sheet. Just looking at that tells you what approach is. Someone help me out. What, how do you calculate condenser approach? Approach is the difference between your leaving temperatures. Water, refrigerant. You mean chill water temperature. All right, it, it's whatever temperature it is. It's on the condenser, it's on the condenser side. Chill water approach is on the chill water side. You want the two temperatures to, to you want the gap to close, so to speak. The closer your refrigerant and leaving water temperature is, 
the more efficient your unit will operate. Completed the chiller class? Um, yeah, it was a great class. Uh, the guy did a real good job explaining uh, explaining the subject material. I liked it. Awesome. Chiller, chiller class is very good. Uh, the instructor did a great job covering all the materials, and he's very knowledgeable and uh, relates a lot to the material. Awesome. Thank you. Fourth class is a strong question. I'd come again. Awesome. Thank you, my friend. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Appreciate it. Awesome. How about you, my friend? How do you like the Tim's chiller class? It was great. Learned a lot. He's got good grits. Good grits. Good all grits. right. Good deal. So you just uh, completed Tim's chiller class, huh? Yes, I did, sir. And what did you think? Ah, uh, man. Lost for words. Good. Excellent class. Um, excellent instructor. Uh, I've learned a wealth of knowledge today. Basically, enough to last me a lifetime, pretty much. <laughs> so listen, for all you guys out there, you probably didn't know we had Kenny Rogers as a customer. Now this is what Kenny's doing. He's giving the music up now. He's working for Johnson Controls. He's rocking and rolling. Is the control industry more fun than singing? Definitely. <laughs> if you need to control it or measure it, Strompus and Company has a control solution for you.